Welcome to the Power Is Now Radio. Your host and founder of the Power Is Now Incorporated, Eric Frazier. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Power Is Now. It's Tuesday afternoon. It's another beautiful day in Southern California. A great day to talk about real estate, and I love talking about real estate, and I love supporting others who are doing the same. Folks, I had the wonderful privilege yesterday of broadcasting the uh, housing conference in Northern California put on by the Northern California Fair Housing Advocates. And uh, it was a pretty uh, incredible event, a four-hour event, which we covered here in the Powers Now. And I want you to check it out. I think you'll learn something about segregation and housing issues that are affecting Californians everywhere. My name is Eric Frazier, and I'm the president and CEO of The Power Is Now, which is a media company. We began in 2009, and uh, we'll be celebrating. Uh, we'll be celebrating nine years or ten years. Uh, 2008, actually, we'll be celebrating 2009. Did we start 2008? August 20th, 2009. So we'll be celebrating ten years in August, uh, broadcasting, providing information. Uh, sharing resources, talking about real estate, talking about mortgage lending, talking about economics, just about everything you can imagine. And I enjoy doing it. And I really appreciate those of you who tune in every week uh, to catch me here on The Power Is Now. Uh, we're also a real estate company and a mortgage company. Uh, we're licensed only in the state of California. And our license number as The Power Is Now Real Estate Services is 198 0407 and our license number as a Powers Now Mortgage Services is 143523. And I am the broker for both the Powers Now Mortgage Services and the Powers Now Real Estate Services. My individual license number as a as a mortgage broker is 461807, 461807, and my individual license number as the real estate broker is 0114348. Today on the Power Lunch, we're going to be talking about uh, national events. Uh, for those of you who have been following me and know me, I'm a member of just about every organization that exists out there and proud to be so. You know, I believe that uh, there's nothing that really uh, separates us in the real estate industry, especially other than our desire to provide for our clients, to meet their needs, to service them, to uh, help them to achieve the American dream. And so I'm a proud member of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers, the oldest minority trade association in the country, began in 1947. I'm also a member of the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals. I've been a member there for a very long time, well over 10 years, and the Asian Real Estate Association of America. Uh, I also attend the Five Star Conference, which is... Uh, I mean, if you don't know about Five Star, then you have not been engaged in real estate. It's as simple as that. Five Star is a great resource for anyone working in the default industry, and they want to know what's going on uh, with, uh, with real estate and lending um, and uh, the opportunities that exist to work with uh, companies like asset management companies and banks and servicers as a real estate professional to... Uh, to uh, grow your business in that default arena. Um, I'm also involved with uh, Real Mac and just a number of organizations that are focused on uh, either supporting the trade, real estate trade associations, and then of course there are community organizations uh, from the NAACP, the 100 Black Men of America, and uh, a host of other uh, organizations. So, I like to use the platform that we have built now over almost 10 years to provide uh, some air support, if you will, to these organizations, because I appreciate the work they do. And uh, I want to encourage you today, as I talk about the some of the national events that are taking place here, that you share the information that we are providing. So share the link on uh, Facebook, like us on Facebook and share the link and follow us on Twitter and YouTube and I just about uh, all the social media platforms. And then, of course, we are uh, podcasting and broadcasting from time to time on Block Talk Radio, iTunes, TuneIn, Spreaker, Pod, Pod, Bean, uh, Podbean, just a number of uh, online radio platforms. And 
Uh, it's just our way of trying to get the word out about what's going on in real estate and the opportunities that exist uh, here uh, what the power is now to get your home finance or to buy your next investment properties. So our agenda today, we're going to start off with events, and then we're going to move into some recent reports. Uh, I love uh, reading Housing Wire and DS News and, uh, of course, all the other major newspapers to see what's going on. You know, just keep up with what's going on. It's a few hours out of your day, right? It really is. And uh, uh, so uh, hopefully I'll save you some time. But we're going to look at home prices uh, and the recent uh, reports about that. Interest rates, and I don't know if you've been paying attention what's been happening with interest rates. And then uh, there's a great article about single women, and uh, I'm going to share that information as well. Uh, they're doing big things. And we just concluded the month of March, Women's Month. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to read our March magazine, you can find it on our, on our website, our, and it should be posted as well. In fact, Will, if you're listening, go ahead and post that on our Facebook uh, site, uh, the, the March issue. And then the April issue, well, uh, we're going to be issuing uh, another magazine uh, in the month of May. We had decided to go to every, uh, every couple of months. Uh, as opposed to every month, but we'll see here uh, what the future holds with the magazine. It's a, it's a passion uh, to write and to provide information and to share information through both our online radio platform, our magazine, and of course our online uh, TV program. Now, um, let me start before we get into national events, let me talk about what's gonna happen right here at The Powers Now. So every Tuesday, as you know, we have our Power Lunch. Please share the link. And then on Tuesday night, we have our first time home buyer seminar every Tuesday night uh, from seven to eight o'clock. And uh, I really enjoy doing that seminar, folks. I, I really do. And I appreciate those of you who are sharing the information. I will be completing tonight part 10. I can't believe that I've gotten there. I'm at part 10 of a 10 part series entitled Derogatory Credit Can't Stop You. And the first eight parts of that series uh, dealt with the various types of derogatory credit. You can find all eight parts, nine actually now, on our YouTube channel and on our uh, website page, uh, youtube.com forward slash the powers now, uh, you can find them there. And um, last week we talked about strategies to improve your credit score. And uh, that comes with a PowerPoint presentation, which I need to get to uh, my publisher here so we can get that up on the website along with the video. And then tonight, I'll be talking about strategies to save money for down payment. And you're going to be surprised uh, of some really great strategies to save money, both purposely and, and not on purpose, if you will, uh, to save money for down payment. And if not down payment, you may not need a down payment working with us. You can save money for your out-of-pocket costs like the appraisal and your earnest money deposit and the inspection. You know, you do need money to buy a home. Uh, you, you really do. You do need money. Even with a no money down, no closing cost program, you do need some money. All right. So we're going to talk about that tonight at 7 o'clock. Please tune in and let everybody know about it. And then tomorrow night, Wednesday, we have our weekly orientation, and this is by invitation only. So if you have applied at applytobuynow.com or neverleaseagain.com, there you can uh, start the online application. You'll be invited uh, to join me for first-time home buyer orientation. And the purpose of this orientation is kind of to... To, to lay out the rules of engagement. You know, what is the peer approval process? To go over the documentation required, uh, to go over the process of a pre approval, what that actually means. And then we uh, uh, talk about the pre approval itself, how long it's good for, uh, the updating documentation, and all of that. So it's a great orientation for anyone who is uh, looking to buy a home and want to get started. And so if you have gone to neverleaseagain.com or you have gone to applytobuynow.com, uh, then look for an email invitation from us uh, to join us on our Tuesday night, on Wednesday night orientation at 6 from 6.30 to 7 o'clock. 
Now, on Thursday, we have our weekly marketing session in which we talk about real estate for sale. And uh, we have a number of listings here at the Powers Now, but we also extend that opportunity for any real estate agent to join us to talk about any listings they may have. And so please do so. If you have a property for sale, join us. And let's, uh, let's uh, look at it. You know, let's, let's talk about it. We may have a buyer that might be interested in working with you. And if we do, uh, we're more than happy to, you know, talk about it on our platform. So just so you know, we have quite a few people that watch us every single week, that download our podcast, and it continues to grow over the years. And we hope that we'll never stop doing this. We hope that uh, the Powers Now will be here for years to come, uh, providing great information. All right, so that concludes our um, announcements for the Power Is Now. Now let's uh, transition to uh, what's happening uh, nationally. And I'm going to share my screen here. Uh, let's see here. And uh, so you can see where I'm getting this information from. I want to encourage you to go to the website uh, of these uh, organizations and um, register for their events if you are involved. If you're not involved, then of course, become a member of the organization. So here's the first one. We're going to talk about NARAB, National Association of Real Estate Brokers. And you can go to NARAB.com, NARAB.com to um, uh, become a member or find out more about the organization. All right, NARAB.com. So you should see that on your Facebook screen for those of you who are watching on Facebook. And for those who are listening on Blog Talk Radio, iTunes, any other radio platforms, go to NAREB, N-A-R-E-B, as in boy, dot com, and you can see what we're looking at. NAREB is having a uh, 2019 Spring Policy Conference, and that's going to be a Crystal Gateway Marriott, uh, 1700 Jefferson Davis Highway, Arlington, Virginia, 22202, and that's going to be May 8th through the 11th, 2019. Uh, so um, look out for that. Uh, that's the, 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 their policy conference. And all the minority trade associ associations are having a similar type conferences. And the purpose of the policy conference is to address the needs of their constituency. So NARAP is going to be talking about housing and the impact uh, that government policy has and is still having on uh, African Americans and people of color who are trying to get in uh, and to own a home. And so this uh, spring policy conference is very important. And uh, it's important that NARAP uh, is at the table uh, to talk about, you know, the needs of the African American community uh, and uh, they're going to uh, be doing this in May. So if you are not a member of the organization, please uh, consider joining NAREP. Uh, this is the, uh, I have on the screen here, again, the information. And uh, for those of you who would like to um, uh, become a member of a local chapter in California, you can go to KREB, C-A-R-E-B dot org. C as in cat, A-R-E-B dot org. And uh, KREP is the California Association of Real Estate Brokers. And uh, there are a number of chapters. Uh, I am a past president of the Orange County chapter uh, for KREP. And um, you can go to ocrealtis.org. And if you're in Orange County, uh, become a member there. Uh, so let's check out the agenda here and see what they're going to be talking about. Uh, at this conference. And again, um, let's see here. So this is the agenda. Looks like the agenda is um, executive committee meetings, NARA committee meetings, and then Capitol Hill preparation training, reception, and then a Capitol Hill briefing is going to take place May 9th, a Capitol Hill, and then post briefing and reception, and then NARA meetings. All right. So uh, that's what's going to happen. Uh, at the Spring uh, Policy Conference. And uh, anyone who is obviously a member or an advocate for NARAP is welcome to participate uh, at this event. All right, now let's move on to the next conference and that's going to be the Asian 
Real Estate Association of America. All right, and they're having their policy conference May 14th through the 16th. And uh, this, is, this conference is gonna be at the DuPont Circle Hotel, 1500 New Hampshire Avenue, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20039, uh, 36. All right, and so uh, that's going, this is going to be another policy conference for, the, uh, for ARIA, the Asian Real Estate Association of America National Policy uh, Conference. And let's see here. Keynote speaker, Tammy Duckworth. Uh, so you can purchase tickets there. You can join the organization, uh, find a local chapter. I'm a member of the Inland Empire chapter, been a member of the uh, Orange County chapter for many years, and I've moved my membership recently to the uh, Inland Empire chapter. So here's a program overview. So arrival, there's a gala that's going to take place training, and they're going to visit the hill, Capitol Hill, and there will be a reception, and then uh, departure. All right, so this is an opportunity for uh, policymakers to meet the leaders of ARIA and the leaders of, leaders of NARAP uh, to talk about their unique concerns for their respective constituencies. So uh, good luck uh, to uh, ARIA and to NARAP uh, with their policy conference. Okay, next up is uh, the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals and uh, their conference, Hispanic Policy and a Housing Policy and Hispanic Lending Conference is gonna be April 8th through the 10th. And so that's just a week away and uh, this uh, event. So uh, the event is uh, going to be in uh, April, April 8th through the 10th. And uh, let's see if we can get some more details here about the uh, policy conference. Um, loading up the agenda. Registration ends on the 3rd. So my goodness, uh, if you're interested in attending uh, this event, you only have a day to register. Online registration ends. There might be another way. I would encourage you to go to narap.org and uh, uh, Find out if there if if there's more time to uh, to uh, register. Okay, my site is not loading up. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm not I'm not able to load up the agenda uh, for the site, and uh, there may be uh, a delay on my end. It could be something wrong with the site. I doubt it. Uh, their their website is is uh, always uh, on point. Let's see here. Um, so it's going to be at the Mayflower Hotel, the Mayflower Hotel in Washington, D.C., April 8th through the 10th, and the deadline to register is tomorrow. Uh, and again, you can go to their website, uh, narep.org uh, forward slash events, and um, check out what they have going on. NAREP always does a great job in putting on national events, and uh, I'm, I'm a proud member of NAREP, of ARIA, and of NARAP. Okay, so let me go back and flash this picture at least one more time, so at least have that. And uh, this is the policy conference, NAREP policy conference, April 8th. Uh, please register between now and tomorrow. That's the deadline to register tomorrow. And uh, the information, uh, again, is available on their website. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot happening uh, nationally. And uh, there's one other event I forgot to mention here. Uh, that's Five Star. Okay, yes, yeah, so Five Star. So let me uh, share that screen as well. Five Star is um, putting on an event, and they also always do a, a great job uh, with their conferences, policy events. And so uh, this is coming up April 23rd in the uh, museum, the museum, Washington, D.C., the Politics of Progress, 2019 Five Star Government Forum. Uh, so uh, this is going to be a um, another opportunity to network with industry uh, leaders um, this is the outline, April 23rd, keynote address, achieving policy progress for the mortgage industry. 
and uh, state of the economy and the housing market, policy and regulation updates, another keynote speaker in the afternoon, the use of consumer contributed data in the mortgage underwriting process, uh, mitigating uh, risk, reducing the cost of servicing, and then closing remarks. So if you're interested in uh, attending this event, you can go to their website at fivestargovernmentforum.com. That's the agenda. Uh, well, for fivestargovernmentforum.com forward slash agenda. Uh, but you can also just go to Five Star uh, and uh, uh, let's see their homepage here. Just go to their homepage, uh, yeah, fivestargovernmentforum.com, and all the details are there. You can register online and check out, check out the agenda and uh, some of the uh, frequently asked questions they have that there as well. So that's what's going on nationally. And um, um, not sure if um, I'm going to be able to attend. In fact, I know I will not be attending uh, any of the policy conferences put on by uh, the uh, minority trade associations. Uh, but I'm going to be looking forward to hearing uh, the results of these conferences and perhaps uh, we can get a leader uh, from one of the organizations to join us here on The Power Is Now and uh, talk about um, uh, what they were able to achieve with the uh, policy conference. All right, so let's move on here. Let's move on here. Uh, good to have Sylvia in the house. Lucienda, thank you for joining. And uh, I want to encourage you guys, not only for those of you who are on Facebook, if you are watching to check out the uh, the broadcast yesterday in which we talked about understanding housing segregation tools to advance access and opportunity. Uh, it was a pretty uh, inspiring, informative uh, conference put on by the uh, uh, Fair Housing Advocates of Northern California. And uh, I appreciate the opportunity they provided uh, for me to uh, capture that event on both online radio and on Facebook Live. Okay, uh, some other news uh, in the housing wire, and I'm going to uh, post this link. And by the way, I will be posting, for those of you who are listening online, uh, I will be posting the links to the policy conference in our Facebook page. I'm doing that right now as we speak. And so uh, if you want to get more information or to see what we're talking about here, uh, the post for these events will be in our uh, Facebook uh, page. And uh, again, I encourage you to uh, check it out. Uh, you just never know what you might learn attending any of these conferences. And of course, all these organizations, including the National uh, Association of Realtors and the California Association of Realtors, they put on policy conferences as well. And uh, we'll give them some uh, airtime on our next uh, Power Lunch uh, and um, find out what they have going on. So if you uh, look into the uh, Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the powers now, you will find uh, the links uh, to uh, the three conferences we've talked about today, ARIA, NAREP, and NAREP. And um, the uh, links are there for you to learn more about the organizations. Okay, in the housing wire today, there was a great article, home prices, home price growth expected to pick up in the year ahead. And uh, this is an interesting article because um, uh, you'll see when I show you a little bit later uh, some of the data, you'll see that uh, we have uh, experienced a definite slowdown in the first quarter of uh, this year. Uh, so the first quarter is done and it really started in the fourth quarter. So this is an article uh, that uh, written by Jessica Gurman, an editor at Housing Wire. And um, it's entitled Home Price Growth Expected uh, to Pick Up in the Year Ahead. Uh, she writes, home prices uh, have been appreciating rapidly since the housing market recovery, but they stepped off the fast track in recent months, displaying a notable slowdown in appreciation. But CoreLogic predicts a turnaround thanks to low mortgage rates, which should spur strong home buying activity this spring and nudge home prices upward. And so we'll see now, won't we? We'll see, because uh, we're definitely, spring is here, and uh, we are seeing an, an uptick in activity. In February, home prices revealed a modest month-over-month -month increase 
of just 0.7%, an unusual slow start to the year, uh, CoreLogic revealed. This is a quote from uh, the chief economist, uh, Frank Nor Norhaf. He says, during the first two months of the year, home prices, a home price growth continued to decelerate. Um, this is the opposite of what we saw the last two years when price growth accelerated earlier. Again, that's from chief economist Frank Norhaf of CoreLogic. On an annual basis, the picture was slightly rosier with a 4% increase over February 2018. While CoreLogic predicts home prices will backslide in March, which they did with a 0.5 decline, it expects things to pick up from there. The data analytics provider forecast a 4.7% jump in home price growth from February 2019 to February 20th, 2020. So do you hear that, folks? We're talking about a 4.7% jump in prices between February of 2019 to February of 20. This is what CoreLogic is predicting. And this is based on the Federal Reserve's announcements. And this is another quote that says, um, with the Federal Reserve's announcement to keep short-term interest rates where they are for the rest of the year, we expect mortgage rates to remain low and be a boost for the spring buying season, Norhap said. A strong buying season could lead to a pickup in home price growth later this year. So that's again from the chief economist at CoreLogic. This would also explain why there's a lot of economists out there that are questioning the Fed's position. They think the Fed is overreacting, and many of them have predicted, most notably Fannie Mae, uh, in their housing forecasts and uh, their uh, economic forecasts, they are predicting that the Fed, in spite of what they're saying or what they are alluding to, what they're not going to do, uh, that they're going to probably raise rates at least at least twice in 2019. So we'll see uh, what happens. All right, this is a great article. Uh, it's in Housing Wire, and the graphs and charts are there. I'm also going to put this in our Facebook page. For those of you who are listening, uh, you can read the article for yourself and check it out. Uh, I tell you, I like uh, BS News, and I'm always uh, checking them out and seeing what their writers are having to say. I also check out Housing Wire as well. Uh, but this is from Hi Housing Wire, this particular article. All right, the next one is, um, again, Housing Wire. Uh, Here's how many borrowers should refinance after the recent drop in mortgage rates. And this is written by Jessica Gurren again. And um, uh, folks, uh, I can tell you right now, if you own a home and you have thought of, think of been thinking about refinancing, uh, a few months ago, I would have said you probably missed out, uh, but the opportunity is alive and well right now. There's been a significant drop in rates and I'm loving the opportunity uh, to show you what's available. Here at The Powers Now, we're mortgage brokers, so we're not locked in into one particular lender. Uh, we're always going to look for the best rate that's available for you based on your FICO score, based on your credit score, I mean, your loan to value, and um, just your overall financial picture. Uh, we'll find the lender that will give you the rate you're looking for or the savings that you're looking for. You know, sometimes we have clients who are looking for a particular savings amount. They want to save $250, $300, $400 a month on their payment, and uh, they see that it's possible, but they don't want to lock in their interest rate because they think there might be more out there. A uh, word of caution, if you can achieve your objective on today's rate, you should do it and lock in the rate because all of this could go away tomorrow. No question about it. It could all change tomorrow. Uh, this is a great uh, article, um, and again, it's entitled How Many Borrowers Should Refinance After a Recent Drop in Mortgage Rates. And I love citing, you know, the media uh, or, you know, other, you know, trade magazines. So you're not just hearing it from me, right? Here it goes. It says mortgage rates fell 22 basis points last week to 4.06%, an event that will likely be a game changer for the refinance market. According to the latest report from Black Knight, 4.9 million homeowners with a mortgage can now refinance their interest rate by at least 0.75 by re refinancing uh, after the recent drop in mortgage rates. You hear that? Over 4.9 million homeowners with a mortgage can now reduce their interest rate by at least 0.75% by refinancing after the recent drop 
in mortgage rates. So I, I tell you, you need to reach out to me or to whoever you're working with because um, that's what's been happening recently in the marketplace. It goes on to say the latest rate change brings refinance incentives to 1.6 million more homeowners than before, a near 50% jump in refinance incentives in a single week's timeline. This is welcome news for lenders who have seen their profitability take hit as uh, refinance markets spiral downward in recent months, hitting a 10-year low just four months ago. Folks, it really slowed down. Everybody I talked to, uh, their volume was significantly off over the fourth quarter and the first quarter of this year. In 2018, she writes, the market saw the lowest annual refinance of volume since 2000, Black Knight said. But now the population of refinanceable borrowers is nearing a two-year high. Black Knight said, noting that interest, if interest rates hold steady, the mortgage market could see major refinance activity very soon. All right, so it's good news, folks. Please reach out to me. Here at The Power Is Now, we can do refinances. Our focus is on purchase business, putting people into homes, but we're actually calling all of our past clients. In fact, if you are a client of The Power Is Now, you have either gotten a phone call or a message already to call me and see if we can lower your payment. And uh, the opportunity exists. Will it always exist? I'm not sure. Uh, things could change. And things do change on a sometimes on a dime and on a, on a just in a moment's note in a in a day in a half a day markets could change interest rates go up and it could all be over so uh, take advantage of the opportunity the power is now to act it really is all right here's my uh, article final article I want to review and this is from the National uh, Association of Realtors the Realtor Magazine the Realtor Magazine. And uh, oh, let me, before I go there, let me post this uh, great article in Housing Wire uh, about interest rates in the, um, uh, in the uh, Facebook chat room. Jeremy Hakimi in the house. Hey, Jeremy, good to see you visiting with me today on The Power Is Now. Uh, please like and share, like and share today's show. All right, uh, the next article is in the Realtor Magazine. And by the way, the Powers now has a magazine, uh, and uh, check us out. We've been publishing our magazine for six years now, and uh, we're always providing great information. This is a great article, and I want to talk about this article because uh, we just ended March, which is Women's Month, and our magazine highlighted some great women who are doing incredible things in the real estate industry and for our community. And let's see, this, uh, this is a, a great article. Here it goes. It's, uh, it's titled uh, April 1st, the share of single female home buyers, the share of single female home buyers in the last three years has increased from 15% to 18% according to the National Association of Realtors. Single women outpace single men when it comes to home purchases. Jessica Lotz, NARS Vice President of Demographics, and behavioral insights and research told ABC News, quote, when I tell people they are surprised, she said about the data, when women are feeling confident, you don't need a wedding ring. Let me say that again. When women, when women are, quote, feeling confident, you don't need a wedding ring to purchase a home. They want the stability of purchasing a home, but, but don't need the marriage, close quote. So, you know, single women are buying homes on their own. They do not need a man to help them buy a home. And um, whether they are buying a home or not, some single women say they don't need a man, period, right? So I feel you on that. I'm a father of four single women. Well, actually, not four single women, four women. My uh, second oldest daughter, Brianna, is married. Uh, then my oldest daughter is not married, but the uh, I have two of the daughters. One of the daughters is... Uh, that's going to be getting married. My youngest daughter is going to get married here in November. And then the third daughter is married. So uh, marriage has been a big part of our family. And it does take two these days to buy a home. I rarely see a, a mortgage application uh, come over by a single woman. Actually, I do actually have a few single women who have been pre-approved and are out working with our agents now to buy a home. 
And uh, I am so impressed with them uh, because of their income, their education, their ability. Single women. Women are dominating real estate. We talked about that a couple of days ago. And uh, women are now exceeding men in buying, single women exceeding men in buying homes. And I, I think that is a, a, a significant accomplishment for women. I'm all about empowering women, and um, you, you know, you you have to get behind them, right? Especially if you're a dad like I am, <laughs> married uh, with four daughters and two granddaughters and a grandson, right? Uh, even our dog, we don't have her anymore. God bless Mimi, who's gone on the dog heaven, but she was a female on top of that. So I'm all about supporting women. Uh, it goes on to say, when single women purchase homes, uh, more often than single men, they tend to buy multi-generational properties that are less expensive, Lot says. So here's a couple of examples. We'll read those, and then we're going to move on to the data. Here is one person, uh, Nuria Rivera, 34, told Good Morning America that she decided to buy a $420,000 three-bedroom house in the Salt Lake City because she sees homeownership as a critical component to long-term financial health. And Denise uh, Damochki, 37, said she purchased a, a $330,000 two-bedroom condo in Arlington, Virginia on her own because she was tired of wasting her money on rent. Quote, for me, the thing I struggle with the most when buying as a singleton is that you don't know if your situation is going to change, close quote. So uh, Dumach Kowalski, that's her name. I'm, I'm butchering her name. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's see here. It's uh, Dutchkowski, I believe that's how it's pronounced. It said in a quote, I would make excuses that kept me from buying like, oh, well, if I meet someone and he already owns a place, or what if I want to take a new job in a different city? Uh, thinking too much about what could happen kept me from committing, and I was afraid of feeling trapped because I own. Finally, a friend simply said, if something changes, or if you want to move, then you rent it out or sell it. You'll figure it out. And I thought, you know, you're right. Close quote. Well, uh, congratulations to Denise and to Nuria. Uh, 34 and 37, respectively, single women doing big things in Salt Lake City uh, and uh, also in Virginia, Arlington, Virginia. Congratulations on buying a home as a single woman. God bless single women who are doing big things in real estate. And women are dominating real estate, the profession as well. So uh, I'm really uh, happy to share this article. Again, for those of you who are watching uh, or listening on iTunes and Blog Talk Radio, you can go to facebook.com and find the links to all the articles here that I'm sharing today. Okay, I'm going to uh, share my screen and we're gonna talk about what's been happening in CRMLS for Southern California and uh, some of the data here. And um, it's uh, pretty interesting, folks. Uh, why uh, now I understand why uh, some of the economists are in CoreLogic, uh, they're predicting uh, that there'll be an uptick in activity. Uh, so because interest rates are low, we'll see an uptick in uh, refinance activity. And because interest rates are low and we're moving into spring uh, and then eventually into summer, we'll see an uptick in purchase activity. But look at this, year over year, new listings, are down 14.6%, 14. This is from February of 2018 to February of 2019. So this time last year, we are behind 14.6%. Uh, year to date, 7.8% in terms of the number of new listings on the market year to date. Uh, so, uh, but month over month, or, or you know, year over year, um, 14.6. Pending sales were down 48.1%. 48.1%. And so, you know, if, if you were feeling it as a real estate professional or a lending professional, now you can see why. You can see the data. It's almost a 50% drop in sales. Closed sales, 14.4%. Days on market, look at that, a 23%. 
I, you know, and I was talking about this on our power lunches that aren't you seeing that it's taking much longer to sell properties. And then the median price dropped about 1%. That's not too bad. I'm surprised that we didn't see the medium sales price drop even more. The average sales price only dropped 1.6%. And um, the percentage of uh, original price received was only off 1.3%. What does that tell you? That is not so much of a buyer's market as you think it is, right? Properties are staying on the market, but uh, sellers are hanging tough and they're getting their price. Uh, the housing affordability index increased to 2.2%, and the inventory of home for sale increased 20%. And we talked about this at the beginning of the year. We predicted this would happen, and it did happen. Uh, and we're going to see that as we enter into summer, uh, really we're just entering into spring, but we'll see as we enter into summer, more homes coming on the market and uh, it won't surprise me if that number continues to rise right now, 20% year over year. And months of supply has risen 34.8%, reflecting again the inventory of homes for sale. We've gone from a 2.3 months of, uh, of supply to a 3.1. Okay, now this again, this is for single family activity. And so let's look at condominium activity. So in the condominium area, uh, it's, a, it's a little worse, you know? So new listings are uh, not that, that bad off. 6.7% month uh, between two, uh, February 2018 to February 2009, year to date is 2.8%. But pending sales is down 55%, uh, 55%. Wow, that's a significant drop in pending sales. And it's really surprising because you would think that condos, which are more affordable, would not be hit as hard. Closed sales down 14% on condos. Days on market, look at that. Days on market, 35 to 51. In February 2081, the days on market were 35 days. That's what it took to sell a home. February 2019 is 51 days. That's a 45.7% increase in days on market. What is going on? You would think as prices continue to rise, then people would move from single family homes to condos or townhomes because they're more affordable. And as condo prices continue to rise, people will look at manufactured homes as another alternative because they're more affordable. Uh, prices are off by 3.7, 3.1%, the medium sales price, the average sales price are up by 1.9%, not too bad. Um, the original percentage, original price received is off by 1.8%, about 2%. Not that bad. Uh, the affordability index went down 4.2%. Wow. Inventory of homes for sale went down, uh, the, I'm sorry, went up 67.7%. So the inventory of, uh, of uh, townhomes doubled. Between February of last year to now, the inventory for townhomes is almost doubled, 67.7%. And the month of supply, uh, it was 1.6 months of supply to 3.3, 106.3% increase. Folks, that's, that's serious, isn't it? So uh, what, does that, what does that mean? For those who are considering um, buying real estate, um, you might want to look at condominiums. There may be uh, some opportunity for negotiation for seller credit as we see an increase in uh, inventory in days on market. Sellers might be more open to helping you with closing costs uh, to get in. Wow. Let me make sure I'm sharing the right screen here. Yep, I'm sharing the right screen. Okay. Uh, let's go into the numbers here. So this shows the data graphically, and um, I think we're going to stop there. So that's what's going on, folks. Uh, that's what's going on uh, here at the Powers Now. That's our news update for the Power at Lunch today. I want to encourage you to join me on um, tonight at 7 o'clock, where we'll be continuing our series on derogatory credit can't stop you, part 10, the final series uh, entitled uh, Strategies to Save Money to Buy a Home. Strategies to Save Money to Buy a Home. That'll be tonight at 7 o'clock. 
please tune in if you missed last week, uh, strategies to improve your credit score. Um, please check that out on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash the powers now, facebook.com forward slash the powers now, where you'll find all of the articles we've been talking about today. And I want to encourage all of you to please share the link. Share the link. There's great information here, and it's free. You know, as real estate professionals, uh, one of the challenges we have, and not only just providing great customer service and meeting our clients' expectation, but we need to stay informed. And that is a job in and of itself, right? Reading all the periodicals, attending the conferences, uh, staying abreast of what's happening with NAR, CAR, and the Minority Trade Associations, and then uh, just staying in the guidelines. If you're a lender like me, I got to stay on top of the HUD guidelines and Fannie Mae guidelines and mortgagee letters. It's a lot. It's a lot. But, you know, the struggle is real if you want to be viable, if you want to be respected, if you want to be considered an expert in your field, you need to, what's, you need to know what's going on and be able to provide the support uh, to your clients. For me, my clients are real estate professionals. We do most of our business to purchase transactions. If you're looking to work with a pro, I am available. I'm here to support you. I can assist you in your business. I can consult with you on what you're doing to generate leads. I can consult with you on social media, uh, website development. I can consult with you on marketing strategies, home buyer seminars, open houses, and I can assist you in getting your buyers pre-approved. And if they're you know, under contract already, we can get them done and we can get them quickly. Our average turn time is 21 days on any purchase transaction. And we don't make mistakes here. We don't make mistakes. We get it done right the first time. And here's the reason why. It's not because we're perfect, because we're not. But it's because we're committed to perfection. We're, we're committed to the journey. We're committed to staying students in the game. Uh, we're committed to doing our very best in every situation. And as a result of that, we rarely fail. We rarely fail to meet calls of escrow dates. We rarely make mistakes if we make any at all because we are students of the game. I've been at this for 37 years straight, 37 years straight, not stopping anytime soon. I'm a real estate broker and a mortgage broker, a lender for 37 years, a broker for 18 years, an agent for 27. So I know the game, both, both sides of the, of the uh, table, and I can assist you with your needs, whether you're a real estate professional and you're looking for a partner, or you're a consumer and you're looking for someone to advise you and to give you some wise counsel on what you need to do. Whether you're refinancing your home or you're buying your first home or you're buying an investment property, the power is now is here for you. For those of you who are real estate professionals, we have a special website, uh, uh, Agent Support Now. I'm gonna put that in the Facebook channel, Agent Support Now. Uh, this is our platform to receive uh, leads from you, agent support now. You're, you're advertising online, you're knocking on doors, you have people who wanna buy. And if you are like most real estate professionals, you will not take a client out if they're not pre-approved. And so if the first thing consumers out there who are watching are listening, the first thing a qualified experienced agent is going to do before they take you out and start showing you property is to get you pre-approved. They want to know your purchasing power. So at Agent Support Now, that's our platform for our agents to uh, provide us uh, their client's information. We will reach out to your, to your client, Mr. or Mrs. Agent, and uh, we'll consult with them uh, and get them started on the pre-approval process. And uh, hopefully, if they are ready and qualified, we'll turn, over, turn them back over to you with a pre-approval, a DU approval, and all the necessary documents needed to start making offers and representing your client. So that's agentsupportnow.com, agentsupportnow.com. That's our platform to work with real estate professionals who need our support uh, to get your clients ready to buy a home, agentsupportnow.com. And for those of you who are not working with a real estate agent yet, and you would like a recommendation, I'm connected with real estate agents in all 50 states. I literally know an agent just about everywhere. I take that back. I don't know anyone in Alaska. Would love to meet you though, if you're listening, reach out to me. I don't know anyone in Alaska,
but I know people just about in all 50 states. And so I'd be happy to make a recommendation if you're looking for an agent outside of the state of California. In California, we cover the entire state of California and where we don't have agents, we have great partners, great partners who use us exclusively for lending uh, that can assist you in finding a home. And so if you're interested in partnering up with me, please reach out to me, uh, eric.frazier at thepowersnow.com is my email address. And uh, for those of you who are interested in getting pre-approved, go to neverleaseagain.com, neverleaseagain.com. That is our online application website, neverleaseagain.com. You can start your application completely online there, and then uh, we'll, we'll send you an email once you complete it, and we'll call you, get you started with the credit report, and provide you additional resources to start uploading the documentation we need to get you pre-approved. All right. I believe that we've covered just about everything today. Uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, tuning in with The Power Is Now. I really appreciate it. You know, what we do without uh, our Facebook friends, uh, Facebook forever, I say, we're gonna be on Facebook for a while, bringing you information and resources. And if you appreciate it, do me a favor, please note that. Uh, uh, write something in our Facebook page about the information that you're getting, uh, the support that we have provided. If you are a past customer or a present customer, please post something in our Facebook page and let everybody know what you think of the information we're sharing, the things that we are doing uh, to uh, uh, help you uh, grow your business as a real estate professional or to inform you as a consumer. All right. Um, I believe that's it. Thank you so much uh, for uh, visiting today uh, our Facebook page for listening on Blog Talk Radio. Business, family, spiritual, motivational, or even marriage. We have the tools and information to help you take your game to a whole new level. Find us at thepowerisnow.com under the services tab and let's talk about the future your future because the power is in your hands the power is now dot com because we care who doesn't want to be a superstar i know you would i also know you're working hard to be the best real estate agent you can be but is that enough are you a superstar well you should be Join The Power Is Now and make your path to superstardom as short as it can be. Find us at thepowerisnow.com. Get interviewed on The Power Is Now radio today and multiply your media exposure now. Thepowerisnow.com, bringing out the superstar in you. Looking back, I certainly recall one of the greatest moments in my life. The day I set foot in a house that I purchased on my own. Man, what a morning I'll never forget. The American dream lives on. The Power Is Now Buyers Club is here to help you achieve it right now. We have access to lenders and nonprofits who are willing to give you the down payment for a home when others are not. That's right. The down payment assistance is not a loan. It's a gift. Find us at thepowerisnow.com and let's talk. Own your home today. Live the American dream. Thepowerisnow.com. The future is here. Listening to the Power Is Now Radio. 
For more information about the show, check us out at thepowerisnow.com or find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter.